here in Oro Valley, one man made the ultimate sacrifice for our country when he was drafted in World War II. After returning home from war, though, he went into education, and his journey actually be included being a principal at Canyon Del Oro High School. And that is where we find our very own Kenny Dar joining us live there from CDO after sitting down with the veteran to hear his story. Kenny? That's right, Heidi. Mr. George, as he's affectionately known here in Oro Valley, began his education career in California as a music teacher before ending up here at Canyon del Oro, where he served as principal for their first ever graduating class. At fourth grade, I wanted to be a musician or a teacher when I grew up. These days, George de Gregory continues to enjoy life in retirement, often sitting on his favorite chair in the corner of the living room with his pet cat, enjoying the views of Oro Valley. <laughs> I enjoy every day because I don't know how many I'm going to have. I enjoy my family, my caregivers, and I've been very fortunate. I've got a great family. De Gregory grew up as an only child in the small town of Gustine, California. His journey into education would start as a young teen, fresh out of high school and destined for war. It was really exciting for me. I was a little kid from the country and so forth. And all of these things that happened to me, meeting new people, seeing things, seeing other parts of the world. He served three years in the U.S. Navy during World War II and is one of about 119,000 veterans alive today. After returning to the United States, he would continue his journey. I never ever thought I'd be a principal, never wanted to be a principal. De Gregory would receive degrees from San Jose State and Stanford, and then began teaching music in California, before ending up here in Oro Valley, serving as principal for the first ever graduating class at CDO. We had some national merit scholars, we had some great kids. I've been very fortunate, Kenny. I, I have students that I started in a school in California that still in, in contact with me, and it, it's just amazing. Before the end of our conversation, Mr. George reiterated to me what he told me when I first met him after asking him what he believes the meaning of life is. Well, I think families are very, very important, but I think that's what life's all about. I really do.